Hello, today we will learn how to rationalize the denominator. So, <clears throat> to rationalize a denominator, we must have a fraction such as this one. And so, we have a square root at the denominator, and we uh, to rationalize is to basically get rid of that square root. So, here in our definition is to multiply the numerator and denominator by a factor with the purpose of of getting rid of the square root in the denominator. Okay. So our first example actually actually doesn't have um, a variable. It's just a number. But if they were to ask you to find the square root of this number by rationalizing the denominator, what you would do is the following. So before uh, trying to convert this into the square root of 45 over square root of 15 and so on, we can actually first identify that 15 and 45 have a common factor, which is 5. So both of them are divided by 5, uh, divisible by 5, and we actually can um, uh, change this into 9 over 3. Now, having that, we can now say that this fraction right here is just the square root of 9 over square root of 3. We can simplify the numerator and turn this into 3 over square root of 3. However, remember that rationalizing is getting rid of the a square root in the denominator. So we haven't rationalized anything here. We have just been simplifying, which doesn't count as rationalizing, of course. And so now we will actually rationalize. So to rationalize, we need to get rid of the square root at the bottom. By multiplying the denominator by square root of 3, you know that any square root squared, so the square root of x, the squared will give you x, so it's basically getting rid of the square root. This, as you might know, can be written as the square root of x times the square root of x. This is equal to x. So in order to get rid of the square root here in the denominator, we must multiply it by itself. So, of course, we have to do the same thing we do to the... Uh, no, uh, to the denominator, we have to do the same thing to the numerator. So, we turn this into 3 square root of 3 over 3. And now we can actually cancel out the 3's, and we get the square root of 45 over 15 is just the square root of 3. Actually, you might have noticed right here that you could divide 9 by 3 and get square root of 3. So we have just proven that rationalizing doesn't change the value of the equation, it just simplifies it. So you can see that we get the same thing. Now, here we can actually do it in two different ways. So the first way we can just multiply the numerator and the denominator like we did before by square root of 18. By doing so, we get the square root of 18 um, times x squared over 18. However, this is not completely simplified yet. So what we have to do we say the square root of 18 is actually the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. And we know that the square root of 9 is actually 3. So we can replace this 9 with a 3. And we get the square root of 18 is just 3 times the square root of 2. So we can 
rewrite this as 3 times the square root of 2 times x squared over 18. Now we can just get rid of the 3 because as you may know this is 3 times 6. So we get rid of the 3 and we get that actually our result is x squared over square root of 18 is just equal to the square root of 2 times x squared over 6. So that's our answer. Another way of doing it is to notice that the square root of 18 is 3 times the square root of 2, like we have right here, er earlier on. So, we can actually just rewrite this as x squared over 3 times the square root of 2, since we knew this before. Now we know that we actually just have to get rid of the square root of 2, no need to multiply also by the square root of 9, which is 3, uh, because we don't really care about whole numbers being in the denominator, we care about square roots being in the denominator. So we multiply both the numerator and denominator by square root of 2, and we get square root of 2 x squared over and some people may just cancel this out, that's not right. Remember that the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is actually 2, so 2 times 3 is 6. So we get square root of 2x squared over 6, which is the same thing that we got before. Now our last example is we have x squared plus 8x over square root of 8. There are two ways of doing this one as well, just like we did it before. But we will just do the, the second uh, way of doing it in this case. So we know the square root of 8 is just 2. Well, it's the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. We know that square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 2. And uh, <clears throat> so we can replace the square root of 8 by 2 times the square root of 2. By doing so, now we just need to multiply everything by square root of 2 over square root of 2. Remember that we are able to multiply by this because the square root of 2 over square root of 2 is just 1 and x times 1 is just equal to x. So we don't change anything. Okay, so back to the problem. We get, we need to distribute this to both terms. So just use the distributive property. So you have square root of 2x squared plus 8 square root of 2 times x and this is over 4 because this is 2 times 2. And so now just to simplify uh, a little bit more if you want to, you can actually rewrite this as the square root of 2 over 4 times x square plus 2 times the square root of 2 times x since we can just divide both, ter both terms by 4 and get rid of this denominator. And that's our answer.